morning my lovelies it's Monday 2nd of November oh it's my brother's birthday uh, I'm on my way to the gym I'm going to a different gym this is first time since March I'm going to an actual gym because it's quite impossible to work out now in my back garden because it's usually raining um, I don't know what's the point because, as you know, uh, they are locking the whole country down from Wednesday, uh, Thursday. So I have today's session and then another one on Wednesday and then God knows when. Um, it's, it's just so ridiculous. Um, so yeah I don't know what's the point I'm going to have two sessions and then you know apparently we going into lockdown till just third of December but if you believe that you believe anything they might let us have Christmas and we will be back in lockdown after that so I don't trust them as far as I can spit yes <laughs> So, um, as you can tell, I'm not in a very good mood, but I know that my workout session will help me and I will feel much better afterwards. Right, let's take this slow bus. I don't know what's going to happen yet, have to wait, wait till Wednesday, but you know, I know that there is few MPs that are going to vote against it, but I'm sure majority will vote for it, so it's just pointless really. Okay, I'm going to go and work out. Good morning, my lovelies. Oh my god, I can't take all this anymore. It's Wednesday today. I'm going to the gym. It'll be probably my last gym session for at least a month. I was up really late, watching a bit of the US election. Oh my god, people, I don't understand your voting at all. It's just crazy well it's crazy to me because I don't understand it um, so yeah this morning I woke up and I see it's very close and drama as usual so that's one thing the other thing we are waiting because today the MPs will be voting for or against their lockdown for four weeks so we are all you know and I think that's why it's so busy on the road today. It's really busy because I bet people are all rushing to supermarkets to buy all the toilet paper. I don't know what it is with toilet paper. You can't eat it. But yeah, the shelf's starting to get empty again. It's not Armageddon, people. But yeah, it's all drama, drama, drama. I am stressed out to the max with all of it. It's far too much for my brain. I actually did, um, last night on Instagram, I just wished all my American friends good luck for the elections. And I asked, who did you vote for? And I must say, the majority in my comments was Trump obviously staying neutral I I think sometimes we especially here in in the news you know everybody has an opinion we don't live there we don't know what it really is like what is the situation so you know I hope you get a president that you wanted that's all so I'm staying neutral on this channel because I don't live there it's not my business. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yesterday I was watching the Parliament TV when where we, Witty and Valence were being questioned by all the MPs about the imaginary graph and so much came out they basically admitted um, that 
festival they don't know much they admitted that there is 95 percent or something like that of false positives uh, they admitted that the graphs they showed us was to scare us to bloody submission so um but i don't think I know there is a lot of conservative MPs that are going to vote against the lockdown but unfortunately Labour, the opposition, is, is not really an opposition um, they are all for lockdown so we're probably going to go to lockdown I hope that what they might do is maybe shorten it from four weeks to two weeks that wouldn't be so bad um, they're gonna do like the Welsh circuit breaker or fire breaker whatever they think of these names um, it is basically lockdown so yes oh yes I will um, leave you actually Iva you know that biochemical engineer that always does the data analysis he just did another video to debunk uh, which is latest horror graph so that was a good thing to watch so and if I see any other interesting videos so I'll, I'll leave it for you but um, yeah I'm just I'm giving up honestly just have to wait and see because I am emotionally mentally exhausted with it all okay my lovelies I speak to you later Good morning my lovelies um, it's Friday today and I've just filmed foundation review and I thought I sit here with you and have a chat while I do my eyes I'm just going to use my uh, Sigma rendezvous palette I really like it for every day and we are going to have a chat so like my title says I think the world has gone crazy so the election is still going on well they saying that Joe Biden has won but there are some accusations of fraud um, I just want to say I feel very very sorry for all of you in the US doesn't matter who you voted for you have to do something with your voting system <laughs> first of all I didn't understand it at all I understand it a bit more now because I've been watching it I am not going obviously to express my opinion on it I just know which president would be better for UK US relationships that's all I've got to say but anyway let's concentrate on what's happening in our country I am not happy happy is not the right word but relieved that the lies that our government's been telling us is all coming out and I've got very good videos for you to um, to link under this video to watch I mean it's good because even the media now are talking about it and asking questions number 10 apologize for the crazy numbers that those two clowns showed us Saturday before lockdown because we are in full lockdown now um, it's all coming out there is hundreds thousands hundreds of thousands of scientists and doctors coming out debunking all of it and you know People used to give me hard time at the beginning because I knew from the beginning that this was not right and now everything is going to come out. You just watch. Um, it's disgusting what's happening. I feel like we are living in communist China. 
so yeah watch all these videos and also the people they used to say oh these are all conspiracy theories unfortunately for us they are becoming conspiracy facts um you know people were saying now oh, why are they doing this and they're doing it because they need to collapse the economy completely to start with their fourth industrial revolution the new reset and like i said people were saying oh they are all conspiracy theories well i will link you a document from our government website the rules for fourth industrial revolution and guess what this was published last year in july so all this that's been happening is to basically scare us, control us. There is no scientific basis for any of it. And I don't know. Anyway, watch all the videos that I will leave you underneath. Um, you should stop watching mainstream media completely. I watch talk radio every day now because they stream live on YouTube all day. They ask the right questions of the ministers and the, um, of the MPs. So, if I was you, I would watch that. Because our mainstream media has become a propaganda outlet, not impartial media that should just inform us citizens what's going on they always always just play one narrative um and that is not right this is not democratic i feel almost like our media are not media outlets anymore they are political party so on one hand i am scared about what's going to happen because I think we've all just gone with it not all of us but most people went with it actually turn on their friends family and neighbors showed our government that whatever they do to us we just agree and do whatever they want us to do so they know now how they can manipulate us and that is scary because it will be very hard to get back from it and get our freedom back. Believe me, when the government slowly takes your freedom away and they see they can do it, they're not going to give it back very easily. So, um, it's been hard. It's been so hard because obviously knew all this for months and months and you feel like you're going crazy because you don't hear it in mainstream media but you know what's going on and now that it's all coming out there is a lot of lawsuits against the government in in progress right now um there will be public inquiry i'm sure next year uh, because they've killed so many more people with these lockdowns than ever died from from coronavirus. So I feel a bit relieved that all this is coming out, but like I said, I feel scared because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and you know, I never want to get political on this channel but it's so hard it's been consuming my life basically i've been up and down it's really bad for my mental health um i feel most of the time like i don't want to even get out of bed and with my videos i have to film something on the days that i feel more positive because i don't know how people can go about their day like nothing has happened or nothing is happening you know i am very real what you see is what you get and i cannot pretend when i'm sad when i'm upset when i'm angry 
so and obviously I know a lot of you are suffering and you don't want to come on on my channel and hear more moaning but is that or I won't come on at all for, for a while uh, so I'm sorry but I had to say it and if any of you still have any doubts just check out the videos down the bottom Iva Cummins came out with amazing one hour data analysis again that there is no one could argue with they've actually offered to um, our scientists scientists that are advising our government to debate them on it but no one will because they know well they know what they're doing they're not stupid but they know they would get exposed so there you go so yeah it's been hard it's been hard very hard on my mental health and I am trying not to immerse myself in it all but it's very hard like they said once you know you can't unknown those things okay my lovelies that's all I wanted to say today um, I will talk to you tomorrow hello my lovelies so today is Saturday and I've got a couple of things to show you so do you remember when I, I think it was last Monday, I told you about the uh, Rifa Brushes holiday collection, which was including three brand new brushes and they came in a lovely acrylic case. And it was, I think, special offer, £100 off. I am not sure if that offer is still on, but I will leave you the link just in case it is. And I couldn't show you these brushes because they didn't get here in time. But now I have them. So they come in this black acrylic box. And here are the three new brushes. So this is number 25. Oh, that is so gorgeous. So this is 25. Beautiful, big soft gorgeous powder brush then here is number 24 i think this is like improved version of the other one that is similar shape but um, this would be lovely for contour oh it's lovely it's a bit more dense and well it's soft but it's much more dense than this one as you can see and then you get number 23 which is very similar to my favorite 03 brush so these are three new brushes i am not sure if they are limited edition or they are going to be part of the whole collection now but yes i will leave you the link to it just in case they are still on offer if not, you might still want to buy them at the normal price. But now, the exciting bit. So I just have been sent some Fysico Eyelash and Eyebrow Serum. You know, I always talk about it. To me, this is like gold dust. I've been using Fysico now for at least two years, if not longer. I have tried lots of serums and they did work, but I've never ever liked anything more than this. Now let me explain exactly how it works, especially if you've never used eyelash serum. So at first you start putting it on every day. I do it every night, all the time. What is your problem now? <laughs> Paul is washing his car outside. And Louis can't get to him, so keeps walking from the front door to the back door, trying to get out. Just stay there. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, so you do it every night. I still do it every night, which I probably don't need to. This is a um, 
0.27 fluid ounces which is 8 ml that will last you 8 to 10 months and it's not an exaggeration I swear my last me a year and that's if you use it every day so what's going to happen if you're doing it for the very first time you might start seeing results after about three weeks so it takes a while don't give up but then as you're doing it all the time, your lashes will just look good all the time. So what it does, it just, so you know your lashes um, need to be stronger, thicker, and achieve the optimal length. Usually, especially, you know, the older you get, your lashes fall out because they are weak, they are not nourished before they reach that optimal length. So this helps that. And I know for those of you who watch me all the time, you've seen my lashes looking amazing. Right now I am going through this stage. So what's gonna happen? Uh, so your lashes will look amazing. And then at some point, because they have to fall out in the end, you know, like your lashes do. And, and right now I have a gap here. So they've grown as long as they could and now they've fell out. So for about week, 10 days, I have that gap and then the new ones start growing again. Uh, this one is looking okay. They never seem to be falling out at the same time, but I suppose that's normal. So, um, so yeah, basically that's what it does. I love it. I use it. I mean, once you got your lashes to a beautiful you know thick long stage you can then probably use it just two three times a week but this is like my evening routine when i do my skincare at night i always put um this on this is safe for contact lens wearers for even for artificial eyelashes if you have artificial eyelashes it's not greasy you need tiny bit it has a it looks like an eyeliner, basically. It's my new one. I'm so glad and I'm so grateful to Fisica for sending me this because remember I actually said last time I think, oh, I'm running out. I have to get another one. So you get brush like an eyeliner and you just apply it on the top of your lashes you can do it on the bottom as well and your eyebrows you don't need much don't flood your eyelashes with it because all you're doing is wasting it and it gets in your eyes honestly it will get to the root of your lashes so yeah it lasts a very long time so the exciting thing is they have let me to give away four of them so what i'm going to do is give away two here in Europe and two in the US. So what I want you to do is when you leave comments under this video, let me know that you would like to win one of those and then tell me where you live. If you are in the UK, in Europe or on the other side of the pond. Because what's going to happen is I will send two from me here in, a, in Europe and, and US, um, UK and Europe, and uh, the two winners from across the pond, Fisica will send um, this ser serum directly to you. I will give them your address, uh, if you're okay with that, and they will send it directly to you. So if you start leaving comments under this video, on Sunday I will do this electronic draw i will draw for people two from us two from around here and i will announce it in a next monday video so i hope you're excited about that because i would love everybody to try it he is driving me crazy because he knows you out there he can't get out through the front door so he's trying to get out through the back door Okay, my lovely, so that's all I wanted to tell you today. I don't know if I'm going to finish this vlog now, you know what me. Um, I might 
think of something to film tomorrow. So if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you in my next video.